BYD is a crypto exchange on desktop and mobile where you can spot trade, futures trade, use leverage tokens, and copy the trades of top traders. If you sign up with the link in the description, you get $300 when you deposit $100. There's hundreds of crypto available on their spot exchange, as well as a free test account so you can practice futures trading without getting wrecked. BYD Fi. Hello everybody, welcome back. So we're going to be thinking about uh, the uh, the aftermath after we entered into wrecked city yesterday due to the SEC and uh, their you know their, their care for the consumer, isn't it really? So uh, there's a few things to look at here. This is Bitcoin. We've broken down from the descending triangle. Remember what I've been saying these last few days. The closer we get to the end of an apex, the more likely it is to see a fake out. Now this is not an organic move. This was FUD caused by the SEC, but. It is quite close to the end of the apex. And I said, if we were to break out, we might result in a breakdown. If we break down, we might result in a fake out and a move back up again. And look, even though this is a FUD related incident and FUD often gets, you know, FUD is usually a buying opportunity. We've come down towards the support of this descending um, channel uh, as well as breaking out from the descending triangle quite close to the apex. So there's a good chance that this is a fake out. Plus we've hit this support more or less at the bottom of the channel and there's a 200 exponential just shortly below us. So if I was to put my money on this, I think that we're likely to fanny around at these lower levels, maybe even revisit a, a, a slightly lower low, so 25,200, give or take. Let's see, 200 exponentials also matched with the uh, descending channel support where we might find a bounce, but you can't get particularly bullish on this one at the moment. There's the criteria to get bullish back, back bullish on it would be to uh, break back above these uh, candle body and wick areas. So about 26,300, and obviously if we get back into the channel range, I mean the uh, descending triangle range, 26,600, yeah, I think it's pretty reasonable to expect um, a, a pump from there. But right now, the fear is real. But remember the time order expression, be greedy when others are fearful. That's pretty much what we're looking at right now. So the four hour doesn't look good. Momentum continues to, uh, to to move down. There is some bullish divergence on the RSI. That's nothing too much to get excited about, but it does exist. It is there. So that's something to think about. The 12 hour is going to be looking uh, more or less the same. Yeah, more or less the same. Bullish divergence on the RSI and on the um, money flow index. So hope for a bounce, but uh, yeah, no real faith. There's obviously a big difference between hope and faith. Um, and I don't have too much of either at the moment, but from a technical basis yeah 22 uh, 25,250 seems like an area where you could start to dollar cost average and put some buy orders in um for at least long term whether it's uh, you know for the duration of the cycle or the hope that we do bounce back up even if it's to the top of the range which is on, into the 27,000 either way if we do lose this area there's two more areas below us where you could think about buy orders they're more or less increments of a thousand dollars so we've got first one is obviously the 25,250 then we've then we've got uh, 24,500 and then you've got your 200 simple moving average around 23,300 give or take so each one of those is a, is a, is a buy order stick, stick your orders in wait for them to get filled if they don't get filled no big deal you know i'm not looking to buy anything other than this one i would definitely buy that one because the biggest bid that i put in for for bitcoin was that uh, 21,500 so I'm happy to just sit with that at the moment not, not really a big problem there right so um other than that uh just a quick look at xrp because we recognize xrp is still a powerhouse we've still got the pump signal in play we came down to revisit the 21 exponential and more or less the bollinger band uh, on the telegram um uncle rich actually predicted this move that would move up and move back down again uh, into the 28th so we got that so there is there is definitely some um some magic taking place on those fibonacci circles that he uses definitely uh, but if you were to look at this chart, you'd be thinking, all right, fair enough. It looks like we still have continuation and uh, every reason to believe that we get back into an, uh, well, into this zone, this 60 to 90 cent zone. Um, we'll get an immediate bullish uh, uh, continuation with daily closures definitely above 52 again, similar to the situation we had before. Um, Ethereum, again, Ethereum holding up relatively well. Uh, still much better than, uh, than Bitcoin's chart. Although it's not the yeah, it's not like the powerhouse of XRP, but it is still quite good. So if we move over to the dominance chart, we can see that we're curling over still on the daily below most moving averages with a 200 simple and exponential below us here. Uh, and these look to me like the destination. So with or without the SEC and Bitcoin, I, I still think that the top cap altcoins, you know, just to name a few, we've got Litecoin, Ethereum, XRP. Uh, yeah, I still think that they're going to hold up better than uh, than Bitcoin itself, even in a downtrend at this moment for the short term. 
But I'm not saying everything's immediately bullish because it's not. It's not. You know, we've got to let the dust settle. But it's it doesn't look particularly bad for uh, for for those. But again, you know, we got S and P uh, hit that level of resistance. We we expected that at four thousand three hundred hit that. So I'll be looking for a breakdown on here and uh, probably a retest of the previous uh, resistance, which is four thousand eight uh, one hundred eighty give or take i think that's where we're going to come down and, and a pullback on the s p of that size is going to be felt across the board for crypto i'd imagine and uh, the euro is obviously breaking down still uh, yeah we're, we're holding above the 200 exponential and uh, with every hope that we remain above there and uh, there has been some divergences to help us uh, prop that up but i think with the general direction and the vibe that we're seeing now I don't know, I'm kind of not particularly sold on this breaking down from this level, but if we lose that 200 exponential on the daily, then uh, then yeah, we, we come down to the holy grail where we think about buying dips on uh, on on euro just for short-term longs, scalpy longs, which is basically just above 105, 200 simple moving average. So all of this does look like further downside generally for all markets. That's 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 what it suggests. That's what it kind of that's kind of what it's offering us here. But it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. You know, we were kind of unsold on ups and or downs for Bitcoin while we were in the descending triangle, and now we've broken down from it. We can see that the channel is what's that is what could hold us, and the moving averages as well. I'm not a perma bull, not a perma bear. Well, actually, I am a perma bull over the long term. There is a chart that I, that seems to just only want to go up over over the years, and you know, Bitcoin is one of them. So technically, I'm a perma bull, but in in the short term. While we were in this triangle, I wasn't particularly convinced either way. I was looking for a fake breakout or a fake breakdown. So now we've got the breakdown. I'll stick to my guns and I'll say I, I think it's likely that we do have a breakout somewhere along the line. But we're going to have to keep our ear to the ground because we know that this was not a TA based move. This was based around something else. Either way, it's, it is an opportunity to buy, honestly, and it does require faith rather than hope. And uh, if you've got faith in the crypto market and you think it's going to work out long term and you want to get positions in all of this, then this is one place to start. Uh, and it's relatively decent and um, it will be, in my opinion, short lived. A couple of months of consolidation if it continues or immediate breakout and continuation up to a $32,000 Bitcoin. Um, but for the moment, keep your ear to the ground because... It might get a little messy in the interim. It's worth noting, though, that the XRP situation is likely to be resolved sooner rather than later. And that would be bullish for uh, for crypto in general, because it would also show that the SEC are just a bunch of knobs, <laughs> basically. Uh, they just can't, you know, they, they, you know, they, they just got big mouths. They, um, it's like a dog with a bark, no bite. Uh, and, and that would be what that, um, that court case would show. Uh, rather than just a win for Ripple, it would be uh, SEC incompetent, really. Right, I'm going to leave with you there. Don't get too concerned. It's not the end of the world. Reds are for buying. Greens are for selling. So we see reds. It feels bad. But if you have the cash on standby, you can start to scale in or back in or start the dollar cost average at what I would consider to be reasonable opportunities here, here and here. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.